Hello, everyone. Welcome into Seven Wonders Duel. If you are new to the channel or have been a long time, as long as like four months can be, uh, viewer, hit that subscribe button um, as we choose Temple of Artemis, the best wonder in this game. Um, yeah, absolutely. All right. So either way, I'm happy with um, either Hanging Gardens or Appian Way. Um... Uh, I'm going to do Statue of Zeus just so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm assuming... Well, I'm not assuming. I'm going to go... I, if, I say, if, my, if my opponent was going first, I would assume my opponent would have taken the glass. But because I'm going first, I'm going to take the glass. And then I will happily take whichever clay he does not. My assumption is he's going to take the free one. Unless he decides that he really wants to go sciences. Which he could do because um, he's still in a situation where he would be able to get a clay anyway. He's going to get a clay. Just depends on if he wants the uh, first dibs on which clay. And I usually tend to take the free stuff if it's free. Um... He could also be wondering whether he goes blue here, but I think that's a that's I, that's the risky play. First first blue card with two brown cards on the board. But again, like he's gonna get if they were two different um, resources, I'd I'd say yeah, I'd say there's a there's a um, argument. But he could have very easily taken one there and then gotten um, and then gotten something else or gotten the resource still. Okay, um, so because this is free, I'm going to take it. There's, um, it it kind of blocks a science victory, but it also, um, there's some decent progress tokens here. Ooh, I will happily take these, the wood reserve. Okay, so he just discards that. And I think I follow suit and just discard this. Because whatever he one he wants to discard, I'm in. All right. Um, I think because I have the wood reserve, taking the coins is better here. I, I'm okay giving that up. And I'm especially okay giving it up now. Because that still got me a resource and it will get me um, press. Oh, nope. No, it's not. Because he's going to... Uh, he is going to uh, get pressed for himself. Not a bad play. I'm happy that he uses this in, in the first age. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And I am very happy to get uh, another reserve. Um, don't love that he's going to get that. Um, I think we just discard this for five coins. Um, he's going to get the stone reserve, which is okay. Um, I don't mind... Um, I don't mind how that first stage went. We're okay. There's my second symbol up there, and there's his two symbols up there. Okay, well I'm definitely going first because I am gonna block this card. Um, again, like I think it's just worth discarding. I don't really feel the need to do a whole lot. I don't really want to use my extra turns quite yet. I'd rather use them in a in a situation where I have a clear advantage. All right. Well, I will happily take five victory points here. I'm assuming my opponent takes the two double clay. I could see it both ways. He should complete Great Lighthouse. That would help him out immensely. Uh, that's, that's a good play by my opponent. And then we definitely pay a coin to get four victory points. Um, he has to discard this, so that will reveal for us two things. Most likely, we're going to be <laughs> saying, we're probably going to be taking this one, and I'm okay actually spending four coins to construct this. Um, that really makes our wonders insanely cheap. Um, okay, that just gets discarded. Um, I'm okay giving up the six coins here, I think. No, I think this is a situation where I... This is absolutely a situation where I use the extra turn. 
um, because then lose lose some coins for my opponent and I don't mind getting six coins for myself um that's a little annoying but not I don't know it like that's if he wants to do that good on him um I think that I would like to um continue along constructing these wonders I, if I don't get statue of Zeus I don't care like blowing up a a, a resource just isn't that valuable to me um, all right, I will happily take the glass here. Um, or will I? Hmm, that gives him a fourth symbol, so yes, I will happily take the glass. <laughs> I don't want to test my fate with the science victory. Curious if he uses his um, extra turn to, to um, get what he wants yeah so what is he gonna okay so he wants the fourth symbol i'm actually okay with this on the grounds that oh yes um on the grounds that um okay do i just get this like i mean it's a point and i'm paying a coin for it now nah, i just discard it for seven coins all right so he cannot get a yeah um, I don't think I want my opponent to get, uh, you know what? I think that this is a perfect, I get I'm opening myself up to a risk in the, in the last age, but, um, this means he can't get anything out of the discard pile, and, um, uh, I want to get rid of the wood, um, and I know my opponent has, like, the Great Lighthouse, but that should, um, that should hinder my opponent enough. So, yeah, like, this one he can't get. He doesn't have enough coins for it. So he just discards that. Um, I don't really care if my, well, actually, I can grab this because my opponent still can't afford this. So, um, they, I, go for it. And now that you can afford it, I'm taking it. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so um, the good news is that law is not here. But we do have to be careful. It's up here. Um, that is going to be something we're going to have to watch. I will happily grab this, which will, happil which will get me the Merchant's Guild. Um, so really the only thing that I am worried about here is uh, this card up here. Um, and my assumption is that my opponent is just going to, um, like, discard to make sure that he can play this. All right, well, I'm happily going to take seven points for a coin. So, yeah, really, it's, it's just, I'm, I, I just can't let my opponent play this card. <laughs> um... This is where, like, I sh maybe should have saved an extra turn, um, but so be it. Um, I will happily pay three coins here. Uh, I, outside of the sciences, I've played this very, very well. Um, yep, that's fine. Um, I think that we construct this. Having my opponent lose two coins is not nothing. I'm curious what he decides. Okay, he decides to get the progress token here. Um, what does he decide to get here? Nothing really helps him out all that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, say so just coins is what he needs. Um, I'm just going to discard this for nine coins. Um, oh, I lose. <laughs> uh, well, bummer. Um, yeah, that's, so that's, the bummer about that is I'm, I'm, I'm dominating in, in every single other way. Great victory by my opponent because, um, uh, it's tough to get all six of them without law here. So, um, I probably should have saved one, like one of these to be able to go the extra turn, but, you know, somehow saving that for, especially Temple of Artemis for the last turn, just, um, it was just unlucky that that was, uh, up there and it just, that's how the turn order went. 
Um, and that's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles. Um, so that's where, though, science can be like, you can be way out of the game. And if you get the sciences to fall to you, um, you know, that's great. Um, law is in play here. I will have to grab the Appian Way. A solid, literally all these progress tokens in this bunch are really good. But yeah, law being the best one if you're going sciences, economy being the second best, uh, being the best one if you're not going, uh, um, if you're not going sciences. Um, I would probably go Sphinx pyramids here. Actually, I've I've fallen out of favor with the mausoleum. I just don't like it as much. Okay, I'm going to grab this, and then I'm going to grab Circus Maximus. Again, just on the grounds I don't have to worry about this. If I don't get this one, I don't care. Um, all right. Um, while the four coins is really nice, I'm going to be much happier grabbing something that also pays dividends later in the game. This, this card is not great, like, first pick. I mean, it's not bad. Like, I, it's not, I don't, I don't hate, I, I don't hate the move by my opponent to pick it up, um, especially now. Um, with the sciences out there, I'm gonna discard some stuff here. Um, I would also not mind getting the Great Lighthouse online as soon as possible. Um, that would be pretty great. Okay, um, because this is free, I'm happy to play it. Kind of forcing my opponent into either using one of their extra turns already or giving me two revealed cards or Papyrus. And I'm happy with either one. Unless, I mean, again, my opponent can, can decide to use one of the extra turns, but I'm okay with, you know what, this is turn four or five. I'm okay with my opponent deciding to do that this early in the game. Because as we saw in last game, that makes a difference. <laughs> like, I'm going to probably hang on to this Appian Way. Um, though, it really, the only reason that I wouldn't, if, if my opponent's just going for victory points... Uh, that's because you, you can't just like lose the game on victory points. Whereas with sciences and war, you can. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very okay with that, especially there because now my opponent, you know, draws mystery stuff. That's actually a pretty decent round of stuff. Um, I'm interested to see which one he goes for here. Yeah, that's the one I would have gone for. Um, I am happy to grab the resource here. Um, I am just always very wary of going all in on sciences. Um, it it just it it makes me very nervous um, because it's very easy to get blocked off from it. Okay. Um, I'm going to discard this one, and then I don't care either one of these I'm happy with. Hilariously, my opponent cannot get either of them, so it really just depends on what he wants to block me from. Um, I will grab the papyrus. Ooh, this is an uh, interesting choice for him. Does he grab the third symbol or does he grab the resource? I mean, if you're going sci you know, say if you're going sciences, like you commit to the sciences. <laughs> um I'll happily take the resource. He gets the wood here. Um, however, I am gonna spend Do I spend all my coins here to complete this? The answer is no. I discard the coins. Okay, so I do have to watch a science victory. Um, I actually want my opponent to choose first here. Because neither of those cards are really all that great for either of us. Yeah, fine. All right. Um, now I feel a lot better. Well, actually, I'm just going to discard this. 
Um, all right, that's a little bit of a bummer because he grabs law here. But it's also not the worst thing. I'm assuming he grabs law here. Unless he's thinking about the resource. Which, because he has two other symbols, the chances of him getting law is pretty high. Um, the other thing that I would do is if I can get this symbol, I would absolutely take law just to block. Even though there's some of these that are better, but just so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay, so he's burying that. And now I'm assuming he's going to grab his science building. Yeah. Okay, and so he grabs law here. Okay, and now I'm okay constructing this building for free. Again, I want to do the Great Lighthouse here very shortly. Now I am going to, like, save the Appian Way like it's my job. Uh, my opponent now has no extra turns. I do need to watch the discard pile because my opponent can get the discard pile. Um, I'm okay with either one of these. Yeah. That's great. Okay, happy to take the glass. The wood is tempting, but because I have the great lighthouse, I don't care as much. Hmm. I really would. Okay, so he grabs wood. Interesting. All right, well, I'm happy. I'm happy to grab six coins here. That is driving up the price of wood, which means I really would like to get this great lighthouse done as soon as possible. Because that's going to give me a... Basically, that's my wood. I'm assuming this symbol, if it's in this set, well, <laughs> well, that's a really, yeah, see, I don't know if I would have done that if I were him. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think, I don't think I really care about this. I think I care more about this right now. I, I just don't think, I mean, I don't think these progress tokens really get him all that much. I guess theology does. I just, I don't know. Maybe that was incorrect. I don't know. Um, but I'm, at this point, nothing I can do about it. Economy would be what I would choose, though theology would also be good for the two, I mean, he'd get two extra turns. Yeah. Um, I think that... This is the best choice for me, similar to how what my opponent did here. This drives up the price for stone for him by a lot. If I were him, I would be choosing this one, the Caravansary. Um... No, he just goes with that one. So he gra he grabs that. So this he grabs the progress token. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, him having to spend 6 coins to get that progress token is pretty nice. Especially cuz there's nothing in the discard pile that can help him. So he does avoid this symbol which is good because that means he's got to get both symbols in the last age, which is very, very helpful to me. Um, it's probably not also the worst idea. This is where Circus Maximus actually is not a bad idea. So he just discards that. I mean, I'm happy to do this to get rid of the manufactured good there. That really drives up the price for everything that he wants to get. I 
And then I probably just discard some stuff for coins. We buried a lot of yellow cards in this. The other thing I could rush to do would be to get these two wonders done so he can't get anything from the discard pile. Oh, so he's grabbing something from the discard pile now. Is he going to grab that glass back? If he spent 11 coins to get that glass back, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a, I think that's a really nice trade-off. No, he's, he's doing an alternative, like, war thing. All right, well. Oh, that's right. He's got theology. I was like, why isn't it my turn? Right. Okay. So my opponent has now decided that both military and sciences are a path to victory. Neither of us have great economies going, but I have a better resource economy than he does. I'm okay with this. Um, I do not care if you want to spend all six coins to get another progress token. Um, pretty okay with that. If I were him, I'd just discard that one. This is the one downside of theology, is it is Law of Diminishing Returns. It's now just nothing. Whereas at least with masonry or economy, there's ongoing effects. But architecture and theology uh, at some point run out of usefulness. Now you could argue, did he extract enough usefulness out of it that it doesn't matter? Um, all right, so I will choose who gets to go first, which is helpful. Um, hmm. Similar thing, reasoning here. I don't really care if my opponent gets either of these first. That doesn't bother me. And I would rather not, yeah, so he gets that, that's cool, but now I want to see, okay, well, the bummer about that is I would like this, but that gives him uh, a science card and i think it's a little too early to be um it's a little too early to be uh science carding it up okay so um that's not ideal however he can't pay for it because it's 11 coins <laughs> for him <laughs> um and if he wants to spend eight coins to get three war that you know isn't i i'm okay with this Puts me in a little bit of a dicey position, but can make it work. Okay, so he just discards that. So now I'm going to make him spend 11 coins. Um, do I pay the two for this just to get victory points? Probably, because I am going to need victory points. Um, yeah, if he wants to spend 11 coins to get that, great. If you want to spend eight coins to get this, awesome. It's just everything is very expensive for him. I am not quite sure that I'm in the lead solidly enough here. Okay, so he has now decided, he is throwing down the gauntlet that, hey, look, I am coming after you with wars. And so I now need to, you know, counter back and be like, whoa, buddy. All right, so that's kind of funny. Um, he should discard this one because that would that prevents me from getting a um, a token. So this is where had his economy been at any kind of you know good? Oh my gosh, I will happily, I will happily construct this because this is gonna even this late in the game, this is gonna net me quite a lot of money. Pretty much any card he plays is going to need a lot of resources for him to pay, and that's going to hopefully net me a lot of points. Also, uh, I guess this masonry would have been the other one that would have been uh, feasible. Obviously, architecture, I, I can already play the one wonder for free, and I'm only going to be able to get 
one down. I probably am doing the Appian way to grab an extra card. I'm just curious to see what my opponents decide to discard here. There's really not... I would like this... I would like the Palace, um, both the Tactician's Guild and the Armory. So he just buys that. Like, look how many coins that got me. So yeah, I'd, I'd, just, ra I'd just rather have this. This is just seven points. This is now pushing me ahead. So I think finally the advantage that I have had in resources is now starting to show. Um, this is not going to be worth a ton of victory points for him. Um, I don't really care about that anymore. Um, I might as well just construct this because it's free and it does give me coins and points. Um, okay, these two war cards do not allow him to beat me. However, um, if he pays for this one, I'm absolutely then going to use the Appian Way and um, just get rid of this one so there's no nothing that can happen. I don't I don't think he has a good enough economy to for me to even be frightened about this. But uh I mean even there's a world where I just go for the nine victory points and forget about the Appian way and just go straight I need not, I need victory points because that's what I am most nervous about at this juncture of the game is that I just don't have enough points. Yeah so he he grabs that. All right um this doesn't um okay so he can play that for free it's a little dicey living on the edge here but uh i i don't know i don't really care being one away from a war victory is not any different from being three away from a war victory Oh, so he just grabs that. Okay, well, the nine victory points is tempting. This at least is three victory points, and I, I need to do this. I need to have first dibs on what either of these cards here, and that is why I need dibs on, on this card, uh, because I need to get rid of this. Um, it does give my opponent this, but, I, I mean, I literally lose if I don't do anything with that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I really don't have a choice. Um, my opponent does get that, which is is going to be a significant amount of victory points there at the end of the game. But, uh, um, I, it's, I mean, again, it was either that or lose. I think I'm okay because my advantage in coins is so much. The guilds I'm a little bit worried about. Um, cause he does have a pretty sizable science guild, but you know, the, the military stuff doesn't. Yeah. So it's, it's, um, oh, do I lose by one? <laughs> oh, wow. What a finish. Holy cow. Yeah. GG. Well played. Great game. Um, so, um, yeah, it was that, that war that, um, so had I played this one instead of discarded it, that would have pushed me into the five. Um, so instead of discarding that and kind of trying to, I was trying to play my advantage in the coins and I should have played an advantage in the um, in the war, which I should have realized because of, uh, you know, points. But, you know, that would require, you know, some like actual thought. So, um, hey, well, um, um, still a very entertaining game, regardless of the win or loss. Um, so if you are, I know I said this at the front, but if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Just cross 70 subscribers. That's crazy. I've been at this for uh, like, I, I'm losing track. It's It hasn't really been that long. And you guys have already uh, shown out to your, shown out your support and I appreciate it. Um, thank you, everyone, and we will see you next time.